Hey Gemini, this is Joyce at Shadow by Tara with Alanya here to do your love reading for the rest of the month of September. So, you guys, please understand this will not resonate with everyone. That's just impossible to do. But if you would like a personalized reading for your own situation, please just email me at shadowbayutero at gmail.com. And please subscribe to my channel. Like and share my videos. I would surely appreciate it. I thank you so much for watching and being here with me tonight. And let's get to it. Love messages for the zodiac sign of Gemini. Gemini in love. What are the love messages for Gemini in love? September 2018. Love messages for Gemini. September 2018. And we have the Page of Swords. We have the Wheel of the Year. We have the Shadow Side. We have the Knight of Swords. We have the Six of Swords. We have the Hangman. And underneath the deck, we have the Six of Cups. All right. The Six of Cups. Let me pull that and put that on the side here. So, what I'm seeing here, overall energy of someone from the past coming in. Okay. Maybe a first love, who knows, but someone definitely from the past coming in. I see here some swift, pretty honest, pretty blunt messages coming in. Um, about a situation. And someone has to face their shadow side. Meaning, fears, they have to face their fears, they have to face, you see this background, this shadow in the back? That's within us all. Okay? And there are things that go on in life, and we're all not perfect people, and we don't always make the right choices or good decisions and all this because we're not perfect. But we all have a shadow side to face, and that's our inner truth, our inner fears, the raw deal, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, perhaps things we feel guilty about, you know, um, which I'm not saying you're guilty of something or anything like that. But whatever your shadow side is, you know it, okay? Or it could be the other person. This could be you, Gemini, or the person you're dealing with. But there will be some swift messages coming in, blunt messages. Maybe some truth, some reve revelations. I can't even speak. Not reveals. I wasn't going to say reveals. My mouth wanted to say reveals, but revelations, you know, about this person or vice versa, 
you know, like an admittance of something like, um, you know, a con not a confidant, but just, you know, revealing their true selves to you, revealing, I guess, the part of them that you didn't know about, a part of them that they have to face. And someone here is moving away from turbulent to smooth and calm waters. This person wants to leave trouble behind. Could it be the shadow side? The swift messages that brought in the revelation of the shadow side. And someone's getting away from all that. Someone could be taking a trip over water, moving to another location. But there's definitely emotion here involved. And someone is definitely turning their back and getting out of the situation. However, the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor. Bringing with it happiness, love, joy, stability, and abundance. Okay. The Knight of Swords follows the wheel of the year. So this is someone coming in quick. This could be you, Gemini, or another air sign, Libra or Aquarius, or just someone who depicts the traits of these signs. But this person, this knight, is moving in very fast with his sword of truth. And he's looking at that shadow side. So maybe you are cutting out the bullshit that you were dealing with with someone. Maybe someone from the past or, you know, not sure yet, not finished. And here you have the hangman, you know, under the Knight of Swords who is also next to, right next to, the Six of Swords. So, moving away from this situation, you got a lot on your mind. And the hangman is saying, you know, we need to look at things from another perspective. We need to think about things before we act. We have to take our time and contemplate, go within, you know, before any decisions are made. However, there is forward movement away from the issue. And something is telling me that yes, for a large majority of you for sure, it has something to do with someone from the past. This blunt messages with the shadow side that is revealed, someone getting out of the situation, the wheel of fortune turning, this person cutting away the bullshit that the shadow side brought, left the situation and now are trying to see things from a different point of view. However, you know, you're in like a little meditative state there. Lost in your mind about it. Let's see what else we've got. All right, Gemini, love messages, please, for the sign of Gemini, the zodiac sign of Gemini. Clear love messages. We have the world. Love messages for Gemini. So someone is completing a cycle. Mm-hmm. Someone is going to let go finally of someone from the past who's got nothing but the damn bullshit drama with them. That's what I'm feeling right now at this moment. You're going to face it, but you're turning your back on it. Like you're going to handle your business and then you're going to just say fuck it and go because you ain't got time for that. <laughs> you're not dealing with it. This is the Five of Cups. Someone is sorry. Someone wants to apologize. They're feeling the sense of loss here. I'm sure they are. 
whether this is you or someone else, um, I don't feel like it's you, but it could be you. But someone here wants to apologize and they strongly feel they owe someone an apology and wants their forgiveness in a love situation. The Eight of Cups. Who? everybody's been getting the Eight of Cups tonight. All you air signs, Aquarius and Libra. Like, everybody seems to be getting the Eight of Cups. <laughs> so the Eight of Cups is basically you're looking for, toward the future. This is forward movement. This is change. This is standing in your... your not, I should say, yeah, standing in your power, but standing your ground. Okay, and... You do have some emotion left over from this, from the spill cups. But looking at the reading, I mean, you're tired of dealing. You don't want to deal with the crap. You're tired of wielding your sword. You know, it's a drain. It's too wishy-washy back and forth. And you're, you're looking for the future. You're looking toward the future. And that's where you're headed. Okay. More messages of love for the zodiac sign of Gemini. Gemini in love. September 2018. Gemini love messages. Please clarify. Gemini in love. nine of pentacles so the nines are at the completion of a cycle now i didn't talk about the world did i the world is a completion of a cycle and the beginning of a new cycle with this see this wheel of the year this is turning things in your favor the cycle that you're going to complete is the cycle with the person from the past with the blunt truth which cutting out all the bullshit with the sword of truth, with facing the shadow side, having to deal with the shit. I feel the shadow side for a lot of you is from that person from the past with their revelations and their crap and their dark whatever. I feel like someone here is very sorry and I feel like it's them. You're going to move away from that. Think about looking at things from a different light, what have you. But this cycle in, in your life is completing because it no longer serves you. You have been through the cycle of life with this. It's over. That's over. You have new, abundant, you know, blessings coming towards you. You're looking at all what you've worked towards, all what you've accomplished on your own. This is also a card of a single person, whether it be male or female. Um, you know, it's like you really, you're looking at everything you've accomplished. You have attained so many things. You're looking, you know, look at all those pentacles. And you're toward the end of a cycle here. You are ending a cycle. But before, right before you end it, you're like, look at all what I have. Look at all what I have done. And you see that butterfly in here? Okay. Butterflies. You have butterflies. To me, that's new beginnings. That's abundance, prosperity. It's security. And you're happy with that. You're happy with yourself with that. You're proud of yourself and what you've achieved. And you should be. More messages, please, for the zodiac sign of Gemini. What are the love messages for Gemini? Three of Wands. Okay. This is also, this could be achievement. 
Um, you're also a little emotional. You're passionate about your feelings. And, you know, it could be that you are waiting for ships to come in. But I think that you would much rather look toward the horizon, toward the future. That's what it looks like. Because you're not looking back. You keep your back turned toward the bullshit. Your back's turned here to it. Your back's turned here to it. Your back's turned here to it. You're reaping the rewards of your labors. You've completed that cycle. You have the wheel of the year turning in your favor with all this beautiful abundance. And I have a card that flew and I'm going to take it. The Empress landed on the floor. <laughs> the Empress is the mother figure. She is beautiful. She is secure. She is intuitive. She is seeing. You see what's in her hand? Okay. She's turning that wheel. That wheel is the wheel of fortune. That is destiny. That is fate. And she's in control. You could be a mother. You could be a parent. Whoever this is for. Um, a loving, nurturing woman. A woman who is responsible. Who has morals. Who has standards. And is looking at the future like, hey. You know, I put my work in. I am the mother goddess. I am the mother earth. I am, you know, I've done a lot. I've achieved a lot. And I'm moving forward. And like I said, this could be, you know, for some of you, it could be showing that you are a mom, that you have children. Okay? More love messages for Gemini. Messages of love for Gemini. Alright, I'm taking this one. This is the Ten of Swords. So you do feel as though someone betrayed you. But this is a ten. This is over. But that's what happened. Okay, the shadow side of someone was revealed. You felt stabbed in the back. You felt betrayed. Okay. That's over. You're looking away from all that. Like you're moving beyond that. You have a whole world of happiness and prosperity and abundance waiting for you. And that's what you're looking at. I'm going to reshuffle. Any more messages please for Gemini and love. getting carried away and the five of swords so it's getting better you're feeling better about it you're not as hurt as you were there are no winners in this okay nobody is the victor you know arguments pettiness um, like that, maybe some ugly words said between people, ego, you know, but this is also the opportunity for change with the five, and you are changing, you are definitely moving forward, like, almost like, you know what? I'm not, I just, mm -mm. I'm just not going to put up with that. You have more value than that as a person. And you know it. 
Six of Swords again. So it's starting to repeat itself. Yeah. Somebody is definitely traveling and getting away from the bullshit. They're looking to the future. And I feel it's you, Gemini. Look into the future. Definitely. Swords are everywhere. You know? And it's a little emotional, you know, letting go. I get that. I see it. But, you know what? I don't see you actually with anyone at this moment. For some of you, this is, you know, like I said, this is not going to resonate with everybody. But for the ones who it does, I feel you're securing yourself. You do have great abundance and prosperity coming to you very soon. You're working towards it or you already have it. And I feel a great majority of you actually do have that you know I don't know what abundance means to you but to me you're doing decent you're doing pretty good better than a lot of people <laughs> and that's great and it's good that you do have the self value to stand your ground and not tolerate you know, all the negativity and all the bullshit because I feel strongly it's just some bullshit manipulation. It doesn't have any type of, there's no meat to it, you know what I mean? There's no, it's just crap. And you're worth more than that. You have more value than that. You know, as a person, as a woman, as a man, you know, some of you, I do see that someone here, you know, and I feel like it's you, Gemini, whether it be male or female, that you are a parent. And, you know, you got You think about that. You think about, hey, I got kids. <laughs> uh, I don't need to raise you. I have children. I'm an adult. I work for what I have. I'm proud of what I've accomplished and I'm moving forward because better is waiting for me. And trust me, Gemini, better is in your future. Much better. Much more abundance. I see a lot of good things. I see clarity here. You know, you're going to see for yourself your achievements if you don't see them already. You're going to see your strengths. You're going to see and be very proud of yourself. That you have overcome so many obstacles and you came out on top. You did. By being who you are. Being you. You know, being that good person. Being that responsible person. Being that person. I never said perfect. Nobody's perfect, okay? But you have a grasp on the big picture. And you know what's important. And you know where your fortunes lie. You know where your happiness lies. And you also know that you are the one creating this really awesome future for yourself. And for those of you with children, also for your children. And bravo to you, Gemini. Bravo to you. What a role model. What a role model for your children. Very good. Very, very, very good. You know, that's what the world needs more. Positive role models. Stand your ground. And do what you know is right for you and your family. That's right abundance and prosperity I'm telling you the love is going to be there but what's even better is the self love and the pride you're going to have in yourself the pride your children are going to have in you and the pride that you know you've shown them the best part of you ever you know well done well done 
I don't see a love interest at this moment. I see you being very secure and happy, actually, being single for those of you who this does resonate to. I'm not saying you're going to be single forever. That's not what that means. It means at this time, at this moment of this reading, right now that I'm doing this reading is the feeling and the actions that I see and feel taking place right before me for Gemini. Okay? But do not worry. Do not worry. You have a wonderful life to live. It's not over. That wheel of fortune is turning and turning and turning. In your favor, keep that in mind, guys. Things are looking very good for you. And I'm happy for you. Okay, you guys got to understand, you know, I do the love readings and all this stuff, but I tell you what the messages are that I receive. You know, I'm not going to lie to you, make up a bunch of shit. You know, I'm not going to tell you, you know, if I don't see it, I don't see it, you know. But it doesn't mean that I won't next time. It doesn't mean that you're not out there living your life and meeting people. It doesn't mean something's not going to change overnight because it damn well can. It could change in less than 24 hours, trust me. <laughs> you know, and you really have done well. You have created a really strong foundation and that's wonderful and even though you're moving on from a situation doesn't mean your foundation's not strong it means you're strong enough to move away from from what you know no longer serves you in your life not in a positive way at all so bravo well you guys I hope you enjoyed the reading I do welcome comments I mean if you guys have any comments or anything you'd like to share I'd be more than glad to, you know, I'll answer, you know, the comments and, you know, if you guys would love a personal reading, I'm here for that too. You just email me at shadowbytarotgmail.com and please subscribe to my channel and like and share my videos. I sure would appreciate it, y'all. And Gemini, you have a great rest of your day because it is now my time. It is what? Mm, let me see. 3.37 a.m. perhaps, if I'm looking at that right. 3.37 a.m. I've been doing readings all day, so I'm a little bit crazy right now, y'all. <laughs> so... Thank you again. Have a good night, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.